up, fabs and besties? Today, we're going back to Colombia for another Encanto-inspired craft. We had a lot of requests for the inside of Isabella's room. Her room is really large and covered with flowers, so we're gonna take some artistic liberties here and create an inspired, inspired room. Because I always have to think of storage, this is a hidden doll room and I will be using foam board. If you do not want to use foam board, you can always use cardboard instead. I am making my back wall 39 inches wide and 13 inches tall. I scored the lines 13 inches from the ends to make a large trifold with 13 inches in the center. I did have to piece a few pieces of foam board together to get to this length, but that's okay because we're gonna cover it up anyway. Let's make a floor. Once again, I'm having to glue scraps together and I score the back in two places so it will be able to fold up for easy storage. Now we need to cover these with like a billion flowers. When her room is dark, it looks kind of blue and purple, but when the lights are shining, it's got pink parts. So I am going to do a bluish purple back wall and then we'll do some pink accents. I'm using some flower hole punches I got on Amazon. We have a couple of different styles. If you do not have a hole punch, you can always cut them by hand. It'll just take longer or you can get pre-made flowers from like the craft store. That would work too, because even with a hole punch, this is gonna take forever. I've been punching for hours and uh, there's gotta be an easier way to do this. Printables! I took all the flowers that I punched out and I took a photo of them to make a printable. Yes! I have a purpley blue one and a pink one. This is a lot of printer ink, you have been warned. But I am going to use these to glue onto the back wall using a glue stick and six and a half printables. Of course, you don't have to do it this way. You can always use scrapbook paper or wrapping paper instead. We can take some of the flowers we punched out, use pliers to curl them a little, then glue them onto the wall to make them 3D and add texture to the space. I even glued some going in rows to look like flowers draping down. Cover the floor with pink flowers and we can glue on a few cutouts here as well to help hide the seams. You just have to be careful about not gluing over the areas that need to bend. Let's glue the floor to the back wall, giving us a large open space. Here is the Disney Store Isabella doll for a little size comparison. Here's the doll from Jack's Pacific. They're both about the same height. I think the Disney store might be a tad bit shorter. The Disney dress is definitely fuller. The pattern continues all the way around to the back. It's a little more loose at the top. I kind of like the top on the Jack Pacific dress a little better, but the Disney store Isabella has removable earrings. <gasps> no way. Plus, this doll has more articulation. We have full rotation at the neck, movement at the shoulder. She has an elbow joint, a wrist joint. We can move at the hip and it looks like bend at the knee. There are painted details on the shoes. The Jax doll has longer hair and the Disney Store doll has a sparkly dress but either doll could totally work in this space. My Disney Store doll came from the deluxe set, which was $100. The Jax doll I got from Target for $12.99. Let's build these girls a bed. Ah, but this floor is totally not stable. We need another glue point. I have 12 and a half inches to work with in the center of this box and 13 inches this way. 
I found a scrap of foam board. It's seen better days. And I cut it to 12 and a quarter by 12 and a quarter. Glue three quarter inch strips to the edge. Cover it with paper. And a little foresight would have been nice. Could have saved some printer ink because I am going to glue this onto the existing floor, making sure it is secured to the back, giving us more points of contact, creating a more stable structure, and the floor can still fold up. I have wooden dowels here, 14 in all. I glue four together to make a large square that should be able to fit onto the platform. Yeah, make a second one, take one of the squares, glue wooden dowels into the corners, then take the other square and place it on top to make a cube. This is the frame for our swinging bed. You can paint it or cover it with leftover strips of paper, which is what I am doing. And you don't have to be incredibly neat with this because we're gonna glue on some of those cutout flowers. I am going to scale the bed down a little, so I cut out a piece of foam board. It's about six inches by 10 inches. Glue strips of foam board underneath to make a platform. I take a piece of felt and lay fabric on top that's a little larger. Lay it onto the platform. Lightly sketch a design to embroider over just like we did in our skirt video. And I'm just adding a few little roses, then glue it onto the platform. Cut another rectangle of foam board that is slightly larger on three of the sides. Cover the visible areas with a wood grain paper. On another scrap of foam, sketch a headboard. Carefully cut it out. Cover it with paper. I trace it onto white paper and sketch out some details. Carefully cut it out. Turn it over so the pencil side is facing down and glue it on top. To make a headboard that we're gonna glue onto the wood or largest rectangle and then we're gonna glue this one in front. I hot glued everything together and I did get a little sloppy with my glue, but that's okay because we can just cover it up with a few pillows. Let's go back to the frame and I glued some poles on the inside and let's add a few paper flowers hanging down. I'm using the leftover cutouts from making all of our paper flowers and glue paper flowers on top, then glue them to the frame. Glue yarn or embroidery floss underneath the bed. Glue paper flowers onto it. Find something that you can use to lift the bed. I'm using a small wooden box. Place the bed on top just so we can get it nice and level and right where we want it. Take the string and glue it to the wooden dowels at the top. Add more flowers to cover the glue. And when we remove the box from underneath, we should have a swinging bed. Now let's place it into our room on the platform. Wow, that's a lot of flowers. And I think we can use a few more. Take recycled paperboard, cut a large cone shape, Roll it and glue the ends together. Cover it with paper. Add leftover paper flowers to make some little flower trees. Completing our Encanto inspired room in a hidden doll room. This is actually a pretty large space with a ton of paper flowers. Of course, you can use store-bought flowers. I just thought that that might get a little pricey, so I made them myself. The trade-off is it takes a lot of time. The doll can sit on the bed and it swings a little. If we remove the bed, we have a large open space that we can use as a background for some of the other family members. In that deluxe set, we got Antonio with some of his animal friends, 
They are stationary figures and have no articulation. Antonio has curly hair, a little red scarf tied around his neck, a removable vest. His shirt and pants are all one piece. He is articulated with movement at the neck, the shoulder, the wrist, you can turn, the hip, and bend at the knee. Here's Luisa with her hair pulled back into a bun with a pink ribbon. She has an off-white top. Mine does have a little stain on it, unfortunately. We have pink stitching, or actually that's printed stitching around the neckline. There's a little pink ribbon, elastic bands around her wrist, a dark purple or navy blue skirt with details at the bottom, and matching shoes. She has movement at the head, the shoulder, the elbow, the wrist, hip, and knee. Here's Mirabelle with her accordion. She has blue earrings that are removable, green glasses with lenses, curly hair. Her top and skirt are sewn together. I like the gathering at the waist and her little butterfly is plastic and stitched in place. Her skirt is decorated all the way around and it velcros in the back. Oh, and there's a nice little dark blue lace at the bottom. Her shoes have painted details and she has the same articulation as her sisters. And now we can place the Jack Pacific Mirabelle next to the Disney Store Mirabelle. And of course, we can always use our custom inspired dolls as well. Thank you for joining us for another Encanto inspired craft. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at My Froggy Stuff, The Frog Vlog, and Bella of My Froggy Stuff. And we will see you next time. Bye!